out of there. Hey, have you heard of Helldivers? Helldivers is a co-op PvE game where you drop in, you kill guys. You shoot their asses out. Just dead. And you extract. Starship Troopers, a clear inspiration for Helldivers, the movie, not the book, mainly satirizes militarism and fascism. Being a satire, it borrows the silly tone from the movie. Sweet liberty. No! <laughs> Look familiar? Don't get the wrong idea though, controls pretty well, progression isn't pay to play, and there's uh, constant updates from the devs, Arrowhead Studios improving the game as well, like, it, 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 it's really fun, just let me gush for a minute. Goofy ass voice acting, no! the over the top, hero of liberty, like actual propaganda videos, and it being a double A game, culminate for a very silly time. This silly ass action movie Dolphin Dive is the only meaningful way to actually dodge any of the bugs or projectiles being shot at you and it keeps your momentum as you're going forward. So like this happens and if you fall for more than one fucking femtosecond the game just turns you into a bag of rocks. Oh my god! It's funny. It's really funny. But it also actually kind of builds tension because you can be killed so fast by so little. Just some random fucking rocket by some guy you can't even see. It's genuinely scary because you spend like 30 minutes crawling through the trenches, taking out the trolls. Then you see a flare go off and you just get jumped for fracking. Which, in case you didn't know, is when you directly insert democracy into the planet's veins and it rewards you. The Super Earth uses for fuel. God bless. Arrowhead Studios, the developer of Helldivers, isn't exactly AAA. They aren't indie though, and the game is fucking. Arrowhead Studios has around 100 employees, and they've made five games now. But compared to something like Naughty Dog, more than 400 workers, 20 games over 40 fucking years, or even Infinity Ward, who just makes COD every three years. They have 450 employees, and they've made 11 games over 20 years. They don't have the most experience, and it just doesn't really have the kind of polish that you'd expect from all tri the AAA games. They all come out so well polished, and while yes, it's frustrating when it just glitches out and you die, still don't have the last difficulty unlocked because of a fucking bug. Just like fall into the ground and just die, and there's no future. Future, we, we did it. We gamed. We are hell divers. We're, we're going into hell. We're diving down. Hell divers two at its core is a, a very unserious satire. You have Peter Parker and also Sasuke, the same guy, screaming, How'd you like the taste of freedom? while actively and aggressively blowing up homes, facilities, illegal broadcasts, telling us to get woke with hilariously over-the-top explosions. And you can do like anything to destroy the building, but. This is the protocol. Super overkill. I can't stay mad about dying as soon as I land with no chance. Even though it is annoying, but this is an individual person, thinking person with life and interests and family. Brainwashed by this planet, taking over the solar system, dedicating their life to training for what they believe is a noble cause, just to instantly perish by their friend's space laser thrown for no reason. It's so ridiculous, it's like an improvised sketch comedy you can participate in, and I really love it. The community around the game is probably about what you'd expect from something like this. People just enjoying the game, making goofy jokes about the creek. Trying to rally the community towards liberating specific planets instead of dying on some new planet because it's fun. Stop dying so much to automatons and- Lots of people also try their best to help. At least, I think, I'm not sure if they're real. <laughs> A game like this with this theme is bound to attract 
certain types, you know the ones. Also, the more sad ones who just want blind escapism and get annoyed at, you know, actually thinking about the media you're consuming. Which, personally, I don't really get. I mean, you're listening to the guy from Jujutsu Kaisen that keeps trying to kill himself yell, how can you take that seriously and insert yourself into that role where you're an expendable, nameless soldier? Your individual contribution is minuscule and most likely doesn't even matter in the end anyway, since we're probably gonna keep making things worse for ourselves by mutating the bugs or angering more factions. Why are we doing this again? Spread democracy? No. Poaching reigns to rig elections easier. Yes, that's actually what we're doing with the automatons. Sucking planets dry of their natural resources. You know that reward? Element 710. Turn it upside down. <gasps> Holy moly! Alright, I should probably wrap this up before my IP gets tracked and I get marked as an illegal broadcast. So anyway, Helldivers is objectively woke. Come on. Just think about it for two seconds. Please fix the bug that keeps disconnecting me from every fucking lobby I join. They fixed it? Did they fix it? Where the fuck is all this leaked gameplay coming from? Going up on like random throwaway accounts, like HD footage of things they still haven't been added. I saw the I saw a uh, automaton that has double auto cannons. I read a gem that's like a guided missile. Fucking a month ago. What is going? Who is leaking this stuff? Not even being teased. Are they playtesters? Are they just recording? I, I wouldn't leak footage personally. That's just me though. Like if I was hired as a bug tester, I'm a hard worker. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't please hire.